First at 530, connect to the Capitol. Rhode Island Governor Dan McKee is with us in studio right now to answer questions about what's going on in the Ocean State and at the State House. Lots to talk about this month, from three lanes on the Washington Bridge to college campus protests. Good to have you along. I'm Dan Janig. We also want to announce that Dan McGee is also going to be my new co-anchor at 530. Congratulations, <laughs> Governor. Way to go. Well, thank you, you very much. Promotion. I just need another job. That's <laughs> all I go. need. I'm just kidding. Emily Bowles is here I'll with us. I'll let you do that job. She, okay. There you go. And she'll join us in just a second. Great. First, you know, I know that you have been hit hard, and I, I even myself, I've hammered you hard a little bit about the Washington Bridge because there's been so much frustration. I want to take some live pictures here, uh, if we can, our director. I mean, it's like we have a Zen moment here, Governor. Like, ah. Uh, Traffic uh, since this new lane change last weekend, for the most part, has looked like this every night. So it's working. It is working. Uh, we, you know, we certainly got a little more work to do to repave the the three lanes going in each direction. The capacity is about where we were uh, before December 11th. You know, in terms of the three lanes, they're a little more congested. So we're doing a lot more of enforcement to make sure that people are paying attention, staying in their mm. lanes, staying off their phones. The accidents are the wild card right now, Dan. We, we can't afford accidents because accidents back up the traffic and then it delays people from uh, getting where they need to go. Right. But I mean, you, you got hit hard. It's nice to say on a night like this, so far, so good. Yeah, I, I think that what it, what it is right now, I think the hit odd, you know, it, it, look, it, it's an understatement to say that it was a major disruption to people's yeah. lives, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, not only the individuals that are driving, but the businesses that are impacted, we're fully aware of that. So right. we've had four months of real challenge. Um, what we're doing now is, and I, I, we brought in an engineer once we found right. that it wasn't going to be a 90-day issue, right? And, and that's my engineer. So we're getting advice to them that we're going to build a brand new bridge that's going to outlast all our lifetimes. Right. And we've hired a legal team to make sure that we do the work to go backwards to see where the accountability is, if any, uh, to make sure that we're holding people accountable. Right now, my job is to make sure do everything as a governor I can to keep the traffic flowing, but also take the bridge down that is, you know, needs to be taken down and then rebuild that brand new bridge in a time frame uh, that, uh, you know, will accelerate uh, the, um, the time frame so that we're, you know, having a, right. a good outcome to this. I thing. suppose you also have to keep your eye on the eastbound side because it's getting so much more traffic and, and congestion, you know, because the westbound side is being fixed. Is that something you have to look at as well? Well, the east sign sign, once, once we fix the, the, the west, we're going to yeah. go back to normal traffic flow on the east. So we're, we're not concerned about that. Remember, that was a bridge that was replaced a, 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 you know, a few right. 10 years or so ago. And it was, remember, the bridge that we're replacing is a one-of-a-kind design right. that, quite frankly, was, uh, you know, we... Uh, we, we uh, wasn't the best one. It, was it wasn't the best one, the worst, and, you were, right? and you were trying to save money, which you, we're not going to try to save money. We're going to build a bridge that's going to outlast all of us, a 100-year bridge instead of a 25-year fix. Right. So keep all, people the safe. people that are still around in 25 years, I hope are kind of, like, retired somewhere and, uh, and enjoying life, but uh, that we don't have to go through right. this. Right, you want to keep people again. safe, right? We, oh, that's the bottom the line. The safety was the top Yeah, earlier this week, you called for over a million dollars to help small businesses yeah. impacted by the bridge. Members of the Small Business Coalition are concerned that over the timing, if it's part of a budget, that doesn't usually happen until June, and they want to know if you'd consider making an emergency amendment to get that money now. So we, we're talking to the Senate President and the, and the Speaker about whether or not they want to entertain a standalone bill that would free up those dollars. Remember, those dollars are there in commerce. We just need to redirect them and get permission from the General Assembly to use them specifically for whatever the local mayors want, Mayor De Silva, Mayor Smiley, uh, you know, appropriating those dollars in Providence, East Providence, and then we're holding a, a couple hundred thousand dollars just in case there's, uh, uh, you know, things that should be done outside of those two. So communities. that money could be coming soon, you're saying? Well, if the General Assembly picks it up and does a, uh, does a quick uh, uh, am amendment or right. bill, you know, pass the bill that but we put in. you're in favor in. of that? Well, of course, okay. we're in favor okay. of that, and, 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 but we're getting late in the session. We're coming into yeah, May right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and you know so, how you know, things move um, slow it, up there. It may not happen until the end of the session. We're prepared for that. If it happens sooner, we'll, uh, we certainly will uh, take advantage of that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, yeah. they wanted to know if you considered it. They, they just now heard that you support that, so there's probably a little bit of sigh yeah, relief. Yeah. Keep, keep the businesses going. And, heck, I was, you were a small I, business owner. I, you know I picked it's up like. some roast beef sandwiches in East Providence before the Celtic game on, uh, on Saturday. Went to my son's house in, nice. in East Providence. I was at a diner this morning in, in East Providence, so I think that you know making that effort to continue right. to work with the businesses makes sense. Don't be sense. afraid of bringing a roast beef sandwich to me there, Governor. Yeah, they're very let's, good. Let's switch to the other subject. Nationwide and now at Brown University, we're seeing student protests over the Israeli-Hamas war, some turning violent. What are your thoughts about what's happening locally on Brown's campus? Because it looks like it's kind of building up. Well, I think we got to avoid violence at any cost. And so, uh, you know, certainly encourage um, enforcement 
if in fact you're heading in that direction, uh, that we got we got to step in. You know, the, the authorities need to step in. Whether it's a college uh, campus authorities or our state police or a national guard, we can't have violence in our in our state for any reason. Right. Uh, it's, but at the same point in time, you're protecting a freedom of speech. That's another story. I I believe in that. But what concerned me when uh, when October 8th came, right when when Hamas attacked Israel and very supportive of Israel. I was very concerned that some of the protests that were going on at that point in time in favor of Hamas or, or trying to eliminate Israel, you know that you know some of the uh, nasty language that right. goes on in these protests, mm. that, that would kind of stimulate a, a, a confrontation of some kind. And right. we got to do everything we can to make sure there's no violence. Are you monitoring that? Are you in touch with your people just to make sure that everything stays pretty Not peaceful Not only here? on the state level, but also on the national level, because okay. we, we make sure that our state police are connected in with the national you know, the, the national uh, information to make sure that nothing uh, that's coming in terms of violence uh, into the state of Rhode Island that we're not addressing. All right, Governor, to give me the 30 second wrap. I wanted yeah. to see if you uh, had the chance to see your predecessor on 60 Minutes the other night. I did. Yeah, uh, I did. I did. And, you know, I've said this for, for over and over again. I think it's a sense of source of pride uh, for the people of the state of Rhode Island to have a, a Rhode Islander, a former governor mm. in this case, being on a, on a, on a, on a, on a cabinet for the president of the United States and to be functioning in the way that, uh, you know, Secretary Armando is, uh, you know, with the chips and, right. and, and making sure that we're made in America and, right. and trying to move our economy forward. So I think it is a source of pride for the people in the state of Rhode Island. Do you talk to her at all or, or are you? We, I, I saw her, uh, you know, in Washington when we the National Governors Association. We were at the White House, uh, you know, Andy, is, uh, yep. you know, her husband, and uh, I met with the uh, with Gina as well, so we, we do talk, and we have we certainly have certain things in common. Right now, we have a you know we're we're one of the uh, tech hubs, right? That was right. identified, eleven in the country. Right. We're, we have a, a proposal into commerce right now. So yeah. so uh, for sixty some odd million dollars to help our blue economy. So yes, of course we're connecting in our offices as well good. with their staff. All right, Governor, that's all the time they're giving okay. me. Always good to see you. Give yes. my best to your mother and to your family. Okay. And I'd like roast beef, pickles, and mayonnaise. Yes. Well, I tell you, they have good roast beef on Broadway. I think it's Miller's roast beef. I I, don't okay. know I can I can say that out I'm loud. Gonna, but. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. All, All right, right, Governor. Thank, thank you. you, Emily.